Good morning, good morning, good morning. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad Amen. in the name of God. Hallelujah. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on in with Emmanuel Temple Praise Ministries International right here in Houston, Texas. I'm Prophetess Christine Bowen, and this is Apostle Carlton Bowen. Bowen. Glory to God. This is the birthday boy, you all. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Yesterday was his birthday. Glory to oh, God. God. And we celebrated him. Amen. Amen. And we thank everyone. Every last one of you. Thank you. It is well appreciated. Yes. Praise we thank God. God. Hallelujah. We thank God. Uh, Amen. 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 Glory. glory to God. Glory to God. And so as you all are coming in, we want you to get your Bibles on this morning. We're going to talk about the reflection of the cross because today is Palm Sunday. Uh -huh. This is Palm Sunday. And we want to celebrate Palm Sunday Amen. because, you know, Palm Sunday is the beginning when we read scripture. Yes. This is the beginning of Jesus' ministry mm -hmm. going to the cross right. for you and I. Amen. Praise Glory God. to God. And so we're going to start with John, the book of John, yeah. chapter 12, and I'm going to read 13. But I'm going to open up in prayer, but I want you to have your Bibles ready. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some areas where you're going to want to highlight people of God. Yes. You're going to want to highlight the information you're going to want to share the information, glory to God, to those who may not know who Christ is Amen. and the sacrifices that he's made. Because this week, people of God, is Holy Week. So this is the week where we okay. actually reflect and think about the, the journey of Christ Jesus mm -hmm. to the cross mm -hmm. and then the resurrection, which is Sunday. Yes. The 31st of this month is Easter here. But for us who are believers, that is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. That's when they found the tomb empty. That's Glory right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he had risen. Yes, <laughs> hey, yes, hey, yes, hey, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Glory to God. So we shout got for that one. Come on here, Foster. You just took the words right out of my mouth. We got something to shout about today. Yes. God. This was over 3,000 years ago that this mm -hmm. took place. And to think, today we are here. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Only by the goodness and the grace of God. Yes. Hallelujah. So I'm going to open up in prayer, Apostle. Amen. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We honor you for this day, O oh God, because you are a holy God, yes. a righteous God. You are Elohim, O oh God. You are Jehovah. And so, Father, oh, we yeah. thank you that we can partake. We can come together on oh, one accord, O oh God, to reflect, to memorize and, and memorialize, O oh God, the journey, Palm Sunday, when you got on a donkey, a colt, O oh God, and humble yourself before the people, them not even knowing the great sacrifice that was to come, God. But God, I thank you that on today we can shout, Hosanna, 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 yes. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're so excited about today. Every day that we are able to wake up, we're excited. Yes, God. Lord. We thank you, Lord, God. Hallelujah for your power and your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, God. God, for the miracles, oh God, that we see even in our lives on today. Yes. Miracle, miracles upon miracles and grace upon grace. And so, Father, on today, we come, Lord God, as humble as we know how. We come, Lord God, asking you, Father God, to forgive us of all of our sins. Yes, God. Father, we just want to know who you are. We love and adore you, oh yes, God. God. And so, Father, on today, we pray, Lord God, as we submit ourselves unto thee, hide us behind the cross so that only you may be seen, yes, oh God. God. Let your word go forth to edify your people, to encourage your people, to quicken us, oh God, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, to give and go out and spread the good news yes, of Jesus Christ. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. amen. Glory, amen, glory, amen. glory, hallelujah glory, to glory. each and every one of you. Yes, glory, yes, glory, yes. glory. And so again, I'm going to begin to read. There's many scriptures on today, mm -hmm. but I'm going to begin to read starting at John 12 and 13. John 12 and 13. Right, Amen. They took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So again, beginning today, there will be a chain of events leading up to the resurrection mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which is Sunday. We as Christians refer to this week as Holy Week. Glory to God. And so, Apostle, as I was reading chapter 12 mm -hmm. of John, and I'm getting my Bible because you all know we're a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. Yes. We don't do anything unless we give you the word. And so we admonish you to go and read chapter 12 mm -hmm. for yourself because there are some, some nuggets in here I want to actually bring to your attention. So again, I hope you have paper and pen so you can write this down for me. Glory to God. Then six days before the Passover, That's right. it's a Passover feast, right? Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus was who had been dead. This miracle had already taken place earlier. Hear me, people of God. Whom he had raised from the dead. Yeah. There they made him a supper. Mm -hmm. And Martha served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Can you imagine? The man who died <laughs> is now risen and at sitting the at the table with ah. Jesus. I'm just saying. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. Mm. And the house was filled with the fragrance mm -hmm. of the oil. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Somebody, mm -hmm. I can preach a couple messages off yeah. right, right yeah. there. Right there, right there. Is your house filled with the fragrance of the oil? My God, today, Jesus. But one of his disciples, here we go. Well, here we go. Hustler. Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? Now, highlight this if you have your Bible. This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money box mm -hmm. and he used to take what was put in it. Now, I'm going to put my finger right here. So those of you who may have the responsibility in the church treasurer. of gathering the tithes and the offering, going into the office and counting the monies and making notes of or, or, or making sure we know as, as pastors what has actually been accounted for, this was what he was supposed to be doing. But he was taken from the money box. Am I right about yeah. it? Amen. Hustler. Come on, let, let mark that. So when you wonder why now here today we see people taking money from the church right here. Okay. Yeah. Will a man rob God? Right here. Anybody sat with Jesus? He ain't with Jesus. He was right here at the table with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was a part of the ministry with Jesus. Do you hear what I'm saying? And we all know that 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 Judas had a part to play. In the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We that's, know that. That's where we go. But yes. remember, not too long ago, Apostle and I have been teaching about how some of these spirits are still lingering exactly. here on the earth today. So we still have that, that spirit of thievery mm -hmm. inside the church mm -hmm. still lingering mm -hmm. today. This is why we have to stay on the wall. But I just want to put that right there. Thank you, Apostle, for allowing me to do that. Go ahead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, let her alone. Hmm. She has kept this for the day of my burial. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. I'm trying to let you know what's coming. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. Again, hint, hint, right? So I'm going to go down a little further right here where it says, now a great many of the Jews knew that he was there and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but they might also see Lazarus. Mm -hmm. See, people had gotten the word that Jesus had performed a miracle raising Lazarus. So yeah. they came to see Lazarus, not Jesus, <laughs> whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priest plotted to put Lazarus to death also. Because an ac on account of him, many of the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. Uh, who tried to put Lazarus to death? 
the uh, uh, the priest, Say the again. chief priest, the chief priest, the one supposed priest. to be over the church. That's right, the one because guess what? We don't want you to take the people from our church uh -huh. because now they're going over to your church. Yeah, and God don't. That's not your people anyway. My God. But but but, but you you read something there that that I want people to understand that that oil. Uh huh. In those days, was one of the most expensive oil you can think of. The box that it was carried into, the alabaster box, you know, Estelada and all of them can't even match up to that. Okay. Amen. Amen. So that was a preserved oil. Mm -hmm. Most expensive. So as soon as you open the bottle, the fragrance just, just the place just full of his fragrance. This And Jesus was trying to tell him, hey, I deserve the best. Come on. Amen. So the best of the best. Yes, but she had the spirit. She had the spirit to move to anoint Jesus. Anoint. Uh, Remember, anoint. Jesus didn't ask her to do it. No. She was 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 uh, uh, following the directions of the Holy Spirit. This is an example Ooh, where Jesus, Jesus. This this is the is an example where Jesus is saying. If you're going to come to me, if you're going to follow me, you got to give your all. That's it. She My gave God. her all. She gave the best of her best mm -hmm. to Jesus. That's it. Hallelujah. And Jesus is saying, this is, I'm not going to be anointed twice. This is my anointing. That's right. This oil. Because, because, and, and, and Jesus did not take a, a pastor or a priest to anoint him. Glory to God. He took a lowly lady who was once in yes. sin. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jesus. Come on. And say, hey, this is this is the door that you have to come in. So come on with, with me. Mm -hmm. Don't think that the Spirit of God can't use you that because part. of who you are and where you are and what you stand for. Don't think. Get rid of that doubt right now. That's right. And so I'm giving you this foundation, people of God, before we really get into what Palm Sunday is. And believe me, we will not be before you long. But we need to give you this information so you can have the foundation to which here we come and mm -hmm. where we go into. Amen. And so not only did they want to put Jesus to death, but then they also wanted to kill the evidence. Yes. They wanted to put Lazarus to death with yes. the evidence of what Jesus had right. done, what he had performed. Amen. And so, again, they didn't want the people, the Jews, to move from their church to Jesus, to now going and being converted. Hello, somebody mm -hmm. from Judaism to Christianity. Glory to God. So the next day, a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees yeah. and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Come on. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus, when he found a young donkey set on it, as it is written, as it is written, fear not, daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming, yeah. sitting on a donkey coat. Ooh, that right there would make me want to shout, y'all. His disciples did not understand these things at first. No. But when Jesus was glorified, come on, people of God, then they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done these things to him. Yes. After he had risen. When he was mm -hmm. glorified, mm -hmm. then these these things came back to their my remembrance. My God, my God. Therefore, the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of his tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. For this reason, the people also met him because they heard, they heard that he had done this sign. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, you see, that you are accomplishing nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. And I've read for you uh, chapter 12 from verse 1 Ooh. to uh, verse 19. And I did it on purpose, John, people of God. John, John, John. 12, 1 through 19. Please go back, highlight, and study this for yourself. My because God. there is so much here for us as we go through now speaking about Palm Sunday, mm -hmm. because Apostle, you and I talked about how I could just see myself yeah. during that time when I'm in worship now, even Hosanna, Hosanna. Mm -hmm. I'm worshiping yeah. a true and yes. living God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so in the spirit, as I, I pass out or put down my palm leaves, in the spirit, I'm praising, I'm worshiping. That sweet aroma 
should go up to the nostrils of my Lord and Savior of my praise. This is praising him, worshiping him in spirit and in truth, that I know the truth. I know who my God is, and I know he's a risen Savior, and I know that my king is coming again. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And this is, this is what we need to understand that when we're studying, mm -hmm. we need to put ourselves, imagine yourselves right there. Yes, yes, yes. That's where you're gonna get great revelation. Mm -hmm. You're gonna. It's like you're you're feeling everything. You you're getting the understanding of the word yes. that you're that that you're studying. Yeah. And, and so as we know that 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 Palm Sunday defines Jesus's purpose and how his purpose impact our lives today. Yes. 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 Amen. The reason why he went there. You and I we read the scripture over and over that he went to the cross and. But but there have to be an entrance to the cross. That's right. Have to be a grand entrance. And according to the Gospel of Matthew twenty one, it refers to this this being Palm Sunday. Mm -hmm. This is the first time Jesus appeared in the city of Jerusalem as what the yes. Messiah. Mm -hmm. Amen. However, according to John, to the book of John that we just read, Jesus went into Jerusalem many times, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, but not for this occasion. Right. Uh, you can read okay. some of, yes, some of, some of the, the scripture, mm -hmm. uh, John 2, verse 13, John 12 and 12, John 5, verse 1, John 12, 10, John 12, 10, 10, verse 22, and John 6, verse 4. These are just some of the scriptures that we're giving you to attach and show mm -hmm. that, yes, he's been up into Jerusalem mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. but not on this occasion. Not uh, he appeared on this occasion on the heavy watch by the Sanhedrin. They were watching him. The priests and, and the Sanhedrin and the Pharisees, they were watching him because every move he made, they were watching to see what he was doing. That's right. Amen. That's right. mm -hmm. They were trying to they were they were, they were trying to ridicule him, say no, he's not, he's not. He's some of them even accuse him of being a part of the devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so so this was the time when Jesus' ministry began, mm -hmm. heading to the cross. That's right. Come on, my God, my God. He knew that his ministry would not be complete, mm -hmm. and his mission would not be successful. Until he took his gospel message uh -huh. from the small town of Galilee and declare it in the great triumphant temple where everybody used to worship in that temple in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knew. He said, well, this, I have to do this mm -hmm. to accomplish my assignment before I, I went to the cross. That's right. I got to go on the platform of platforms. Come on. Glory to God. And so the people waved palm branch when Jesus rode into, as you read, into Jerusalem, mm -hmm. shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Mm -hmm. And so the word Hosanna means praise the Lord, yes. praise the Lord. But it also means save us now. Yes. So what they were saying, Hosanna, save us now. Mm -hmm. So so it's a picture of victory and joy. Yes. yes. And when they spread branches and garments in Jesus' path, it was to pay him honor. Yes. Come on, Apostle. Amen. Amen. Hosanna. Pay him honor. And as you as you rightly say, many of them had the witness. Mm -hmm. The miracle of Lazarus mm -hmm. was raised from the dead. Yes. Uh, Jesus Come raised on. him from the dead. That's right. And so, saints of God, hear this. Life did not offer much hope or promise, and the cry of Hosanna's uh, uh, captured something of the reality that prevailed in the lives of many people. That's right. Come on. Hosanna. That means save me, save yes. us, save us. That's right. Amen. See, in Jesus, they saw deliverance. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's why they say Hosanna, mm -hmm. because he delivered Lazarus. Yes. And so their cry was, was a plea for help. Mm -hmm. Help us. And for us today, we who are in need yes, Lord. can shout, Hosanna. Mm -hmm. I need some help, Lord. Mm -hmm. God, I believe, but help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. Come on. Knowing that only Jesus, only Jesus, only Jesus is the one way who can help us. That's right. That's why I told the disciple, I'm the way, the truth. And the light. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. And so, and so we can praise God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that Jesus mm -hmm. 
power and authority still prevail today. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive and well in our hearts today. That's right. The power. He said, all power is given unto me and greater work shall you do. His power is working through us. That's right. So the Hosanna calls attention to our needs. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory but also God. reveal who will, will, will meet our needs. That's right. And it also reveals our hearts. Yes. When it comes to our relationship and our love for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And, and, and so, and so, just a confirmation mm -hmm. in Philippians 4, 4, verse 19, he said, But my God mm -hmm. shall supply all my needs. Uh huh. Come on. All his, according to what? His riches, riches in glory. glory. I put my there because I make it personal. Yeah. 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 So he said, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. So you I can put you. my, yeah. because you got to make this personal. Amen. And so many times people seem to suffer because their faith in God to meet their need is so little. Oh, he, that's what the Bible, Jesus uh, uh, talked to his disciples. He said, oh, ye of little faith. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes, come on. I, 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 I you suffer these these things because the little faith he he was mad at his disciples when they woke him up when the wind and the wave start to rage he said why you wake me up mm -hmm. oh yeah little faith mm -hmm. hey peace be still mm -hmm. example amen. and so god has never made a promise that he has not kept uh -huh. Come on. amen mm -hmm. if he tells you he will then he will do something mm -hmm. then you can bank on that that's right take it to the bank that's right. Invest on that. Mm -hmm. And so, because, because, prophetess, we're not talking about someone who make a promise that does not have the power to carry that promise out. Right. No, no, no. God gave his promise. Mm -hmm. His promises is true. Right. Amen. Because what? He is infinite in power. That's right. Mm -hmm. His promises oh are backed by his on what? Diluted power. That's right. There's right. no dilution up in here. Amen. Rich in power. The Bible says rich in power. So the question is, why a donkey and not a horse? Mm -hmm. Because right before he entered, a couple of days before he entered, there was a glorious celebration for Pilate. Mm -hmm. So Pilate rode in on a stallion and, and the parade and all of that that was going on there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so they see Pilate coming in as the governor. No, no, no. Rome sent him in mm -hmm. to govern, mm -hmm. and the par and the, and so the parade was so great. My God! But watch this: Jesus rode up on the donkey uh -huh. as victor over the battle for our souls, and what the Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. In those days, give you a little history. In those days, the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, will will just roll out. They will just ride out. And go into battle. Mm -hmm. And when they had victory, they would come back in there on a mule or a donkey showing that they have victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They have victory over the battle. Mm -hmm. But Jesus didn't have to ride on a horse or a stallion or anything. He rode on a donkey showing that, hey, I have the victory before I even went to the cross. That's right. Lord God of mercy, right. I wish I had. Mm. And, and if they mm. were to go back and read. He, uh, Jesus sent two of his disciples yeah. to a specific place. Lord Jesus. To get this specific donkey. Say, go to bed, page. <laughs> it could not be just any donkey. Just like it had to be Judas of Iscariot mm -hmm. who did what he did. Mm -hmm. And it had to be Mary of Bethany to do what she did. Yeah. And so forth. So there was a process to Jesus Christ getting to the cross. Mm -hmm. So what am I saying? Don't just look at someone when something takes place in your life and you kind of negate That's good. their presence. That's good. That's good. God is sending someone to you to help you to through the process mm -hmm. of what he has called you to do. That's good. And so you have to, you know, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to show you the ones that he is divinely yeah. sending to you. So that you can continue on your destiny toward the calling, come on, people of God, for which God has for you in your life. Amen. We all need some help from somebody, some way, somewhere. And so, you know, this account here for me, when Jesus sent the disciples 
He sent them to 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 one follow the directions. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. Take that note. When he asked for the two to go, they went. Follow the directions for where God is giving you to go. Follow the directions for which He is telling you to do. It may seem strange that they had to go get a donkey. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. They but they did what they were asked to do. And then how did Jesus know? This specific don't people huh. still be there. See, as I'm walking with them in my mind, as I'm studying, these are some of the questions that my natural perception yes. would come up and say, well, why did he even know? And why would he send them? You see what I'm saying? So this is how we can study the word and then get the answer in the word. Amen. You just don't have a question then go in the word to get the answer. The answer is there as you read. But it was a specific donkey that had that Jesus had to sit on. Yes. You know, to go into the city, to as Apostle said, to go in during Palm Sunday, mm -hmm. the parade, and and uh, amongst the people, for people to see him as never before. Amen. Because some of them never laid eyes on the Messiah. Amen. They just Amen. knew of him as a prophet. Go ahead, Apostle. See, the Bible said, the, the word of God said, this donkey have never been rode on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, never. Nobody was on ever been on this donkey's back. Come on. Come on. So, so, so. And what I like what you say also, the disciples didn't even question it. Why? Why? Why are you sending us? No, they didn't. Talk. Why this donkey? Right. They're like, OK, Lord. And they and, went. And, and they went. When I was speaking of that is mm -hmm. because there have been times I'm just going to make it plain when I have given a direction from my job. And I might say, okay, but on my way to my desk, now I'm I'm asking the question to yes. myself. I wonder why they're doing it this way versus mm -hmm. that way. Since when did this change? Instead of me confronting the, the boss and asking the question, I'm going back to my office and I have these questions going through my head. Mm -hmm. So even though the disciples might not have asked him personally about the wives, as they were walking, they could have been thinking, think right. about it, people of God, yeah. we're, human. we're human. Why this donkey and why are we going here to this specific place? And is the donkey still going to be here? No. So they went, they didn't know the donkey was going to be there. Yeah. So, But this is where we, Apostle was talking earlier about walking out your faith. By faith, they couldn't see it, right. but they knew it. They By knew faith, it. God was guiding them. They blindly accepted the call, they blindly accepted the assignment, mm -hmm. not knowing that when they got there, whether or not the donkey would be there. Come on, people of God. This is where, you know, we're talking about faith. We're talking about trusting God. Yes. And so there is a, a method right now, people of God, there's a method to your process. Yeah. It might seem strange in your world as how things are coming together, but know that God knows the process mm -hmm. for which you have to go through mm -hmm. to get to your expected end, to go through your journey to your destiny and your purpose for which is already in you. Amen. Jesus had a purpose. He knew that he had a purpose, but he couldn't do it until now. Three and a half years. He's what, 33? Three and a half years. Mm -hmm. The last three and a half years of his life was when his ministry came into yes. fruition. Yes. But he had to go through 30, 30 years of preparation. 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 And those around him had to be prepared for once he left, as we mm -hmm. just read yeah. in chapter 12. He said, I'm not going to be with you always. You're always going to have the poor, yeah. but you're not going to always have, have me. me. He was telling them right then and there, I'm getting ready to go. So I need to make sure that you prepare for me when I go to the cross. Amen. That you prepare to take on after I go to the cross. Yes, because he knew his time was now. That's what I'm saying. So we have to really think about, are we prepared now for the second coming of Christ? So we, we think about and we take Holy Week seriously. This is a serious time that we commemorate yes. the sacrifice and yet we rejoice because of the resurrection. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. See, Hosanna, save now. Yeah. Save yeah, me now. Yeah, yeah. And so he was making his journey to save us now. Now. The now faith. Yes, the now faith. Now faith that we exercise. You see, uh, uh, tossing their, 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 their cloak and coat in the path of Jesus was an act of submission. Yes. Hear me Lord. now. Right? Because they recognized Jesus 
as the promised Messiah. That's right. You see, I've seen Jesus. I've seen everything that you have done. Come on, come on. I've seen you raise, you you just raised Lazarus from the dead. Mm -hmm. You heal the sick. That's right. And everything. So it was an act of submission. He said, you cannot be a normal person. You have to be a God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so this little donkey was a part of the great plan of redemption. Come on. Hello. That God had for all creation. Come on. Just Come on. like you say. Come on. Ain't nobody sitting on the, don on the donkey. Never have sat on that donkey. But Jesus knew. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Jesus knew mm -hmm. how this parade would end. That's right. That's he right. knew. That's he right. knew Come the on. same people who were shouting praise to God. Hallelujah, Hosanna, Hosanna, would five days later be screaming, crucify him. My God, he knew I... that. He knew that Jerusalem was where his enemy had the most power. Come Hello, on. watch this. You know that there are certain areas that you used to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. But now that you accept Christ as your personal savior, you can walk in because the power that is invested in you will take you into some hostile area where people have to start to respect you. Not respect you, the person, but respect the power in you. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. And Glory to right God. There, I hear the Holy Spirit. And, the, and right there, people of God, you are heirs and joint heirs. Ah, with Jesus. Talk now. The Holy Spirit is invested in you. Mm -hmm. The power of the Holy Spirit is invested in you. Do not fear. The Bible tells us that we shall, I, I, I shall fear no evil. Psalm yeah. 23, I shall fear no evil. Even though, yeah, you know, I walk through the valley and shout it down, I shall fear no evil. When you walk into your workplace, you take authority, authority in Christ Jesus. thou art with me. Christ That's right. is with you. You take authority wherever the sole of your feet trod. Amen. You take authority in Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about pride in me. I'm talking about pride in the Lord. Yes. So we got to stop acting as though we say we're Christians, but we already look defeated. Mm -hmm. You are not defeated. You are victorious in Christ Jesus. Amen. Don't allow not a man of this earth to make you doubt who God has called you to be. Hallelujah. You are greater. You are greater. Yes, you're humble. Mm. Yes, pride has no place. But through your humility, yes. and Jesus, yes. sitting on a donkey, you can show the greatest power ever that they've ever seen sitting around that boardroom. Amen. They'll be trying to figure out who is this person sitting at the <laughs> table. <laughs> Honey, when I get around the boardroom, I'm sitting at the table with Jesus because I know he's at the head of the boardroom. Amen. So I'm not going to fear man. Hear me, people of God. I have the authority that lives on the inside of me, which is Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit is going to speak through me. When these people get talking around that boardroom, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is giving me knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's giving me insight. It's giving me wisdom to be able to speak and have them listen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So walk in this authority. Yes. I had to let, I had to let that oh, out. Yes, yes, My yes, God, yes. Jesus. Because the Bible said Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. So Jesus knew. They wanted to kill him. Yes. He knew that. Come on. And he knew this was God's plan to fulfill the promise of God to Adam and Eve. Uh-huh. Come Amen. on. Amen. Mm -hmm. His death would cause the forgiveness of all sin. Yes. Not some sin now, but all sin. Come on. The fear of, of, of human death, as you just may mention, would be destroyed when he would what? Eyes from the dead yes, and God. well and the grave. Mm -hmm. Now, now it so happened that when you study the word, yes, Zechariah, Zechariah chapter nine verse nine mm -hmm. was written five hundred and seventy-five years before, before earlier, mm -hmm. predicting that when the Messiah came to Israel, oh he would come riding on a donkey. Come on, come on. Can you imagine that? Preparation. 175, that's, amen, that's preparation. He's a king, but he's not like any earthly king. My God. Come on, sir. Come on. Lord Jesus. Come on. So the Palm Sunday Parade was a parable acted out in which Jesus was sending a clear message Mama. to the nation. Uh-huh, come on. Ah, come on. even now, he's to still sending, us. to all of us, he's still sending a clear message to the nation. He said, this is who I am. That's it. I am your king. Yes. 
but I am not the king you're expecting. Come on here, somebody. Ah, my God. There, you see, even is even in his birth, they were expecting a king to be born in a, in the palace, mm -hmm. but the king was born in the manger. Yes, sir. He said, I am not a king who will come in to overthrow the Romans. No, uh -huh. no. You're looking for somebody to come and to bail you out that way. Uh -huh. He said, uh -huh. I am the king who will defeat Satan. That's right. Who is bigger than the Romans. That's right. My cross and empty tomb will strip Satan of his false power. That's right. All of his power. That's it. Amen. And so when we come together in the church. Come on. Mm, we should all be in expectation of a supernatural visitation from the Lord Jesus. That's right. Come on. You, yeah, Come on. it's time Come for on. us to operate in the supernatural. The spirit of God should reign in the church. Amen. Glory to God. Paul said, all the, the old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Yes, so yes, now yes. you got to start to act. And, and operate in the supernatural power of God. How? You allow the Holy Spirit to come into you mm -hmm. and give him all and say, okay, take all of me. That's I'm it. not in control of myself, but you take all of me and watch him work. And so, ooh, 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 go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Y'all, you have to excuse me. You have to excuse me right here because I just heard something. You have to excuse me. Listen, listen, listen. Jesus. Mm. Jesus also had to go in through this particular way because remember, if the high priest wanted to get rid of him and Lazarus, uh -huh. the high priest didn't care for the people. There you go. The women, the poor, all the needy, you know, all of that. They they snubbed their noses at these people. Mm -hmm. Here today, people of God, this is why we are to look to save souls. See a person as a soul. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we too cannot become My. like the high priest. Yeah. We cannot sit and see a homeless person and walk by and don't have some compassion. Not when you say you have the heart of Christ. You can't see a woman who has children out here trying to get uh, uh, some money from people because yes, they may be uh, immigrants or whatever, but they're still a soul with some children. Glory to God. How do I know? I has parked. Well, I was driving down Greenhouse to get to I-10 and I was at the light. There was a woman over here on the side. She had her child with her and she was asking for donations, money. And so I remembered I had a couple of dollars in my purse and I called her over to give it to her. Let me tell you something. That little boy, he was sitting in the grass area, but he came, brought his little self over to me at the car and said, thank you. But let me tell you something about the way he said thank you. Remember that we entertain angels. Yes. Unaware. Mm -hmm. God is trying to see where your heart is. Mm -hmm. Because if your heart is where his heart is, you're not going to bypass it. There you you're go. not going to leave someone on the side of the road and they bleeding. You're not going to leave someone on the side of the road and they hungry Walking or they the thirsty. Street. They don't have no clothes. Come on here, people of God. So he went in lowly. In the eyesight of those who thought they were such a much. Come on here, people of God, and let them know later on that he is the true king, Savior, yes. the Messiah. Yes. He had to prove to them that he can meet the needs of the people, his deity. Come on. Mm -hmm. He can meet the needs of the people, but he's not no different than the people. That's right. That's right. Come on here. That's right. What your position is in the church, your title is in the church. Just as you have someone who is homeless, your day could change within 24 hours. Yeah. You don't know. But guess what? Because of his mercy and his grace, we all have a testimony as to how he has brought us out yes. and brought us through. So we cannot be like those who have their nose up in the air thinking they have, they're more than anybody else and being judgmental. We, Jesus did not co to come to condemn the world. Come on here, somebody. What did he do, Apostle? So that the world might be saved. That the world might be saved. Glory to God. And trust me, uh, listen, the sins, mercy and grace. Mm -hmm. The sins, mercy and grace. There's some things that I used to do, I don't do no more, but his mercy covered me while I was out there in All sufficient grace. When I was dead in sin. Glory to God. So there are people who need to know this is the transformation Amen. of the love of God, mm -hmm. the cross. And I heard the Lord so distinctly. He just reminded, listen, the, the donkey had not been 
rode on before, had not been used before. We we get it. And Jesus was the first one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Guess what? The cross wasn't it. Hello. Okay. That, that that the cross was was a cross that was specifically for him. The only thing that was borrowed was the tomb, because they knew that it wasn't gonna hold him. He was gonna rise up. Do you see where I'm going with this, people of God? Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. And, 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 and we have to. And you said something. Mm -hmm. We we have to be careful because some people are just one paycheck away from being homeless. That's it. And, and, and not even a paycheck. Let Amen. something happen. Oh, and my God. You could have saved and Today. saved and saved. And when the doctor bill hit you. Jesus. That's it. It'll clean your account up. And so sometimes, hear this, sometimes our lives come unraveled and veer off the course. That's right. That's right. As you, you said. Right. You good. So we need God's guidance. We need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. We need God's guidance through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes to yes. guide us and direct us in the way we should go. My God. And so those who were gathering on the street of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. On the first Palm Sunday, we're asking, who is this? Who As you read, who is this is person? This? In other words, who is this Jesus we're hearing about? My God. Who is this person riding on his donkey? Mm -hmm. Many people today don't even know. What manner of man is this? Come they on. wanted to know. And there are still those who want to know who this man is today. Yes. And we guess what? We are still alive. The Come reason on. why you Come and on. I are, are alive is not by our good looks and who we are. Uh, We're still alive to for us to tell them who God is. That's right. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. That's right. Right? He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the fairest of the... Everybody ought to know who Jesus is this morning. That's right. Come There's on. still people mm -hmm. who want to know who this man is. My God. And we're here to tell about his history. That's right. Glory to God. Even though the people cried out, Hosanna. Come on. Their words did not match their hearts. My God. Lord Jesus. We, I can, this, this is a message right here. Mm -hmm. Their word did not match their heart. My God. You know, some people just come to church and shout. Mm -hmm. But they're not there. Come on. They're possessed. A, a, a casual, mm -hmm. not a commitment faith, a committed faith, but a casual faith. Uh huh. Because committed faith is different from casual faith. Right. right. They had religion, mm. but they mm. did not have a relationship. Right, right. 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 Come on. They did not have love, so they they miss the person of who Jesus Christ is. Because the Bible said, John 3, 16, just sum it up for God so loved the world. That's right. the agape love that we're talking about. Come that on. he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. So the love of God mm -hmm. enfold us. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's it. So how can we have committed faith? Mm -hmm. First, we need to understand that committed faith is not self-centered, but it is Christ-centered. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Jesus made that commitment, mm -hmm. went to the cross. That's right. And so many people today have casual faith, right? The word casual means occasional, mm -hmm. coming at, at a certain time without regulatory. That means that without regulatory, it's not, it's not regular. That's right. Amen. Showing little interest or concern. Mm -hmm. You could nonchalant, mm -hmm. not, not. Not that intimate relationship. That's right. That you want to have. That we should have. That close relationship mm -hmm. that we should have with Christ. Mm -hmm. And so many is driven by a faith of convenience. That part. Hear me. Mm -hmm. Being suitable to their comfort. Mm -hmm. Lord God. To their purpose. Or to their needs. And not and not and, and, and fail when it is challenged. To what? True discipleship. That's There's right. a difference right there. That's right. Because casual faith don't know what a true discipleship means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> because they're so convenient. Let me do this now. Let me do that now. But uh, uh, when the pastor asks for something, no, I don't feel like doing that. Mm -hmm. It's not a feeling. Yeah. It's casual is when it suits your we, Amen. When it suits amen. your needs. 
Amen. Amen. And so because so many people have casual faith, where am I going? We live at a time when the king of glory is less honored. That's right. Amen. In our land, mm -hmm. the land of great U.S. of A, mm -hmm. because everyone is doing whatever seems right in their eyesight mm -hmm. with no regards for the word of God. That's right. People use the word of God so, so often and it, it's not valuable to them. Mm -hmm. It's more convenient when they need it to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so we live in a time when the, the, the culture mm, of a once on. godly nation has come turned on. to idolatry. That part. The almighty dollar. Mm -hmm. Amen. On. And God's blessing seems ever farther and further away as, as we decline to know who he is. That's it. Remember, they were asking, who is he? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. many people today are asking, who is God? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Many of the people were praising him for two reasons. Two. First, because of his miracles. They see a lot of them, mm -hmm. right? And he had healed the sick, raised the dead. Of course, you see Lazarus. And because he was serving them. Yeah, That's food. Right. That's right. At one time, Jesus said, a lot of you following me is just for the food. Mm -hmm. Food for your belly. Mm -hmm. Right? And second, because they saw in Jesus a way to be politically Fully delivered from the Romans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus, we know what you've done. I know you can you can do it. When he was on the cross, remember what they say? You saved so many people, but you can't save yourself. Yeah. Come on. Huh? They were mocking him. They were mocking him. Mm -hmm. So 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 to be set free as Israel was set free from Egypt. That's how they saw him. Mm -hmm. It says, since, since, yeah, we know you're God now. We know. And we know that you have delivered our poor parents from Egypt. So you can do this now. Their praise was tempered with the attitude of Jesus. What can you do for me? That's what they were doing. Mm -hmm. So Jesus took his throne to a, 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 a voluntary suffering. The suffering, death and resurrection. That's right. Voluntary. He said, I lay it down. I lay my life down. I can take it up again. That's right. Come on. That, that, that's voluntary. Mm -hmm. You and I can't do that without the Holy Spirit. That's right. Amen. So Jesus knew what was about to happen. Mm -hmm. yes, he he knew the Pharisees were going to get the upper hand. Mm -hmm. He knew that. Mm -hmm. He knew the people would be fickle and follow their leaders mm -hmm. like we see now. Mm hmm he saw this sin mm -hmm. and his and this rebellion mm -hmm. and this blindness coming. He saw all of that coming because he said, this is the reason why I am here for 33 and a half years. I got prepared three, three years. I got prepared for this because I know this would come one day right. and he would be rejected and crucified. He said, before this happened, though, let me go into the Garden of Gethsemane. Let me go talk to my father. And when he started talking to his father, he said, you know what, father? If it is your will, let it be what? Let this cup what? pass from me. That's right. But guess what, Lord? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Not my will, but thy will be done. Be done. Glory to God. And the Bible said the spirit came upon him. Mm -hmm. He said, all right, now it's time. Now, when the Holy Spirit came upon him, At the he said, of John he the said come on, it's time to go do this. That's when time to go take care of this. Time to go get the devil Take everything. That's right. My God. That's my right. God. That's why it's so important and significant when you read about the baptism of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ with John the Baptist. Because that's where it begins. Amen. That's where it begins when the Holy Spirit comes upon him. Now he's he's got the power. Yes. Okay. He's got the power. Yes. This is why it's important Woo! for us as Jesus. the church to teach and preach about the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, the triune God. Amen. Glory to God. Because as Jesus is not walking with us in the physical body as he did with the disciples, his spirit, the Holy Spirit is here. The comforter yes, is with Lord us. God. Leading Hallelujah. and guiding us as if Jesus was walking right on the side of us. Amen. You understand what Amen. I'm saying? And so I said that because I need for you to mentally picture that. 
So when you're going through, you know you're not alone because the Holy Spirit is right here with you. Mm -hmm. You're going to go through some things, people of God, but ye being of Christ, we are what? Crucified with Christ Jesus. Yes. We go through, we're persecuted, we ridicule. We're going to go through some tough times in our health. We're going to go through some things. We're going to isms. But guess what? Again, you are not alone, beloved. Amen. And I want to bring note to one thing. Again, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, which was 10 kilometers south of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He was born right close to where he would be what? Crucified. Think about that for a minute. See, we wonder why sometimes God does the things that he does. He mm -hmm. moves us around. Sometimes, some of us have left states where we were born. Some of us don't leave the state where we're born. Some of us go back to the state for which we were born after we had left for a while. We have to pray and ask the Holy Ghost to show us, show us our purpose yes. and our destiny. Yes. Why are we, don't look at you changing job to job to job to job. Glory to God. Look at how am I to serve here mm -hmm. for the time that I'm here. Yeah. What is my assignment while I'm here at this company? This is why we can't fear the pink slip. This is why we can't fear when they're making cuts, budget cuts, and you might be a part of it. If you trust God, he already made a way for you. You just got to walk in. That's right. Go over to God. And how do you do that? By faith. See, <clears throat> Things don't, it, it doesn't surprise God when we go through some things. Mm -mm. He already knew that the day would come. Glory to God. But we in the spirit have to allow our spirit man then to see in the spirit and say, okay, God, what's my next? Yeah. Be in expectation of your next, not feeling as though you're defeated because you got a pink slip, but begin to praise God. I'm giving somebody right now mm -hmm. the key. Out of, out of your depression and your anxiety and your worries before you go get all them payday loans that you ain't going to pay back. Come on here, people, God. Go to God in prayer Woo. and praise him as if you just got that offer letter. Holly, don't stop giving to God the tithes and offerings as if you still have your job. That's right. Because what you're doing is you're putting faith in action. You're telling the world Come on, the prince of this world. Uh huh. Uh, you can't touch me. Hallelujah. Come on here, people of God. If God be for you, then who can be against you? you? Praise him in your circumstances. Thank you. We already know what his job is. He knows it better than we do. Yes. What he banks on is us not having our trust and faith in God so that he can torment us. So that he can have us have sleepless nights. Yeah. So he can make us want to commit suicide because we no longer the CEO. Come on here, people of God. But God is trying to stretch us. He's trying to grow us up. He's trying to build our faith. Hallelujah. And all we have to do is hold on and wait. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because there's a greater anointing mm -hmm. that he's trying to get you in a place to receive. The greater anointing. Yeah. Because there is more that is expected of you. We can't be complacent. We've got to move as God has us to move. Amen. Amen. So we hope Glory. and pray that something was said on today. Yes. Glory yes. To yes. Hallelujah. That you are celebrating Palm Sunday. Hosanna. 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 Blessed oh, be the name Jesus. of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Save us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he is truly our king Amen. and our soon coming king. Glory to God. And so if you would like to sow into this ministry, please go to uh, Cash App ITP Ministries, the number seven at gmail.com. That is also our uh, email. If you need to reach out to us, if you want prayer, you can just put in a prayer request. You can messenger us on Facebook and put in a prayer request. Listen, that's what we do. We are church of prayer. Amen. Word and prayer. Come on. Come on, people of God. And so also you can go to zeal, zeal, and you can also make a donation there. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God. God. Glory to God. And so again, we have moved locations. We will be uh, 
Resurrection Sunday will be our first service at our new location at 2214 FM 1960. That's right here in Houston, Texas. Glory to God. Listen, we got to go where God sends us. Amen. And so there, trust me when we tell you there's a purpose through the process. Yeah. Okay. Glory to God. And so we're looking forward. If you do not have a church home and you have nowhere to actually worship and you would like to join us, please do so at 1130 a.m. Central Standard Time. We will be again at 2214 FM 1960 right here in Houston, Texas. Amen. And we will have it posted and continue to let you know where we are going to be located for in-person service on that Sunday. Amen. Glory to God. And so again, we just want to thank you. We don't take your, your time for granted. We thank and praise and pray for each and every one of you all. If you have not done so, please share the gospel, share the video. Please do us that favor. Just hit the sin. Boom. Share it. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And if you know, don't know Jesus Christ as your personal yes. Savior, you want to be saved. You're, you're, you're crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna. Save me now. My God. Save me now, Lord Jesus. That's what they were doing. Save me now. You need somebody. You need someone in your life. You want to be saved. You want to, you just tired of, you're sick and tired of the sick and tired of what you're going through. Glory to God. Now is the time. The Bible said, now is the acceptable time. And so now is the acceptable time to come to Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. You shall be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you if you are backslidden, hey, the arms. He's married to the backslider. So come, come on, on back, prodigal. Come on back. He's waiting for you. His arms are wide open, waiting for you. Waiting to give you the hug. Waiting to give you the peace, the joy that you long that you're longing for. You Amen. had a taste for it. Come on. Right. You had a taste of it, and now and because you you stray, you still you can't find that taste until you come back to him. That's right. Once you come back. Back to you. That's why David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. That goodness, that greatness of God is waiting for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so hear this. Saints of God, those who are in Christ, we need to start evangelize. Go out and evangelize. Bring people in the ministry. Harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. That's right. Come on. So many. ITP ministry is in this big old ocean, and we can't handle it by ourselves. We weren't created. To. We weren't created. We, amen. We weren't created. to. So hear this. Come. Let's go out and witness That's and it. bring in others to the kingdom of God. Let amen. them know. Amen. 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 Also, evangelism in the church, in today's church, will air on at 5 p.m. today on VG39 out of Canada. So if you did not get a chance to or even share it, you guys, so people can hear what uh, evangelist Jolanda and I were uh, interviewing a couple who are evangelists right here in the great city of Houston, we really spoke on evangelism and they gave their testimony that will blow your mind. So please, at 5 p.m., look for VG39. I will share it and watch the testimony in about evangelism in the church today. We love you all. Come on. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Peace.